<laughs> Welcome back to yours truly DKC. It's me filming another amazing video on the island of Tobago. Today I'm at a tire shop, a specialist tire shop doing an amazing tire and rim selection for my Mercedes. Alright, so I chose to come to race truck because I was told that they have the widest variety of rims and tires on the island. Alright, so come along for the journey, roll with me, literally roll with me, and let's see, let's see what this experience would be like. So this is race truck. <laughs> And what I like about the racetrack is their presentation. They are not joking. They are not joking. Yeah. We have amazing rims. Let me see if I can show you all. Rims galore. Wow. So wait until I go inside and I'll show you the rest of it. <sighs> These koi fishes close to the entrance of Restra set the stage, sets a lovely beauty and ambience. <laughs> and I had to spend a moment just admiring these fishes, you know? The guy showed me a picture of those fishes when they were tiny and they have grown so huge and they look so beautiful, you know? I don't know much about koi fishes, but they were lit. So let's go and enjoy the world of 15 inch rims. I'm not looking at any other size rim, but that store had everything. You know, everything was so gorgeous, right? But this is just 15 inch rims I'm showing you. So, if you need 15 inch rims, check out Racetrack. They are found in both Trinidad and Tobago. And yes, from my observation, I will describe some rims as sporty, I will describe some as elegant, and I'll select, I will describe some as rugged. What I'm looking for is sporty. Alright? I love a sporty look. Alright? So, let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, but my experience was amazing. Right? The rims were just such a wide variety. They were all unique in their own way. And they were in a variety of colors, you know? Colors or shades, whichever one you would prefer to use. Alright, I never really thought of buying a white rim, but looking at them, hmm, I somehow couldn't convince myself that they would be the best fit for the car. Right? So I looked at the white ones, I love them, but then but then there was a black one. This one right there that we just saw. And I just I don't know. At, when I went, I was literally looking for black, but then when I saw it, I just felt it was too much black, you know? And then... I decided to go with silver, silver grey, but then there were so many shades, there was dark grey, there was light grey, oh my word, so, you know I had to eventually make a choice, and I did, this is my rim, right, and uh, the tires, and uh, I love the selection I made, of course, I took the advice as well from two gentlemen who were with me. This is what they would said they would advise me to get for a sporty look. And 
when I looked at it, I said, wow, this is it. This is it. You know, so they're here hooking me up. They had to put on the tires. And then they took it on a machine where they were balancing. So these are the rims. These are the rims on the floor. What you think? I don't know what is the right name for these rims. I probably just need to go and look at the receipts. <laughs> But I love the way they look. They were very sturdy. And the color was absolutely going to complement my black car. You know, and still give it a pop. Yeah, so that's me. And here this interview, I'm going to interview Mr. Ronnie Balgobin. All right. And we're going to get some tips and tricks from him. So stay tuned. <laughs> we're here just there getting ready. I am there making sure I'm well set and proper. You know how we women just do it, you know? Yes. But the interview was amazing. So listen in. And I'll we see you at the end. We are in Tobago at Race Track Tires. And we are sitting in the beaming sun. All right? And we're doing a short interview about Ronnie? and Race Track, his company that he's working for. And... Uh, he will be sharing with me what I need to know about caring for my newly bought rims and tires. Hi again. Hi again everyone, my name is Ronnie. Um, I'm a sales rep at Racetrack for the past 20, 20 years actually. Um, I'm glad mm -hmm. to be here to help out my friend here with this video. Um, do you want to know on care of a tires? Um, when you buy tires, Two things, louder. two things we, 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 we advise our customers mainly is to make sure your alignment is good to your tires. Very evenly, we advise them to rotate. When you, you rotate like every 5,000, mm -hmm. you get an even wear from the tires. Oh. Right? The next so rot when you say rotate, rotate. you take the back, put it on the front, front, put the front the back so you wear them evenly. You get a longer lifespan from the tires. Right. So do you think we should also rotate from one side to the next side? Um, based on the type of vehicle, you can X at the first rotate and then we can rotate front to back up. Front to, okay. Right. Um, the other thing with, with maintenance of tires is checking your pressure regularly. Right. Or ever so often. Maybe once a fortnight, twice a fortnight. Right. Just to make sure all your tires are uh, at the correct yes size. Right. Sometimes so, you may pick mm -hmm. up a puncture so you don't know. But right. at the end of the day, you dry the tires so if you can do damage to the tires. Right. You find what, the what, what is the PS, the correct PSI for my car? Because I'm driving a Mitsubishi Lancer CS2 wagon. Yeah. For a vehicle like yours, I recommend 30 to 30 PSI. 30 to 32, okay. Yeah. If it's bouncing too hard, you can drop to 30. To 30. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the tires that I bought, tell us a bit about that tire and why you recommended that tire and what I need to know about okay, well, the benefits of that particular tire. Well, it's just a fit bike. I've been doing this job for 20 years, so it's easy for me to see well, what to recommend and recommend, right? That's not so challenging because of the experience I have. Um, in terms of tire, and quality, all our tires that we give full manufacturer warranty with our tires. Okay, the nice. Span of the tires. It does not cover road hazards if you hit something and damage the tire. Yeah. Any manufacturer, first of the tire, you can get a claim. Right. Um, but you know, we don't get any claims on our tires. Very rare. Very rare you get a man up and a bunch. Mm -hmm. They are me. Men on you with all so the Let me start to walk a little so the video wouldn't look yeah. too sit down office -y. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. yes. But other than that, our tires, you should get your mileage with, with your rotation and stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, you should be good. Should be good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. The other factor that would put you with tires is like checking the manufacturing the tires when you mm -hmm. purchase them. Some people will sell your tire and it's a new tire, but really and truly all tires have an expiry. Expiry? Right. Oh. Right? So That's important. let's go across by my tires right. and check the expiry dates. Well, what will tell you is the manufacturer date. The manufacturer date. Right. Okay. So what, what is the correct lifespan of a tire? I would say three to four years. Three to four years? Alright. So let's see if we track selling us good thing. Alright, you look for the DOT and next to the DOT you get four sets of numbers. How it works mm -hmm. by week 
And yeah, this is my so I mentioned where I cut down garlic rice for the camera. Yeah. I learned a lot about tires and you see this number 5023 what that means is that this tire was manufactured on the 50th week in the year 2023 so you all may not know but I love to research everything so the 50th week of 2023 takes us to the date December 11 20 23 to the date december the 17th 2023 so this time period is when this tire was before it expires in your hand right 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 okay okay so from the manufacturer date you have a the life part of the shelf how much what's the, what's the length after the manufacturer three, to four, date? three to four years yeah. oh Yes, from my extra research, I recognize that even though the tire will be optimum or best before, as we just see on food labels, three to four years, so the research indicated that after six years, you must the change the tire. Yes. And, and I think that was interesting, you know? Oh, Very nice. Okay. Right. Now, I heard there are different types of tires, like there is German made tires, and what are the other types of yeah, tires? Yeah, the tire industry has a wide, wide variety of things. Mm -hmm. um, there are plenty of Chinese tires on the market. Chinese. Our, yeah, with our tires, before we put it to the market, Ceylon is the main brand of tire we really promote. Ceylon? Ceylon. Oh, okay. Right? Why um, Ceylon? When we check the reviews on the field, we still have the only high-end tires there. Oh, and wow. you get uh, more value for your money. It's more value. You get, you get the same mileage or so. Now, it might be the best style on the market. There are tires that are highly I mean, They are different types of tires, so tires. different types of purposes. Right, and the prices would be. And the prices would be. Okay, so you have to also cater for your customer. That's right. And what your customers pocket. That's right. But I see that you all do provide a variety. So it's like you are catering not just for the yeah, persons right. who that's have right. a low budget, but you are catering for your premium customer. That's right. That's right. right. So your premium customer that drive what kind of car? <laughs> is, it a, is it a Mitsubishi wagon? That is right. all of I mean, most people they recognize us for our mm. line of service. Okay. That is one of the main attractions here. We are right. our places on this Clean, yes, um, yes. Are it looks very clean actually. Yeah, very clean, very clean. Yes, and the showroom is immaculate. Yes. We have a one stop shop here where you can also get the alignment done, also. Oh, alignment. Right, okay. that's to make sure that when you leave here, your tires cut properly. Right. Very properly. right. Well, I see that the, um, your, the guy, he balanced the tires. Yes. Why? Why? I thought if a tire come new, you don't have to balance. Why no, you have to no, balance no. a tire? You have to balance it because mm -hmm. our tire is made to remove this. They have a dot on the tire. Sorry. Right? That, that helps with really the balance of the tire. This one, yeah. mm -hmm. you cannot see the dot, but nevertheless, that, that's right. the shimmer you get when you hold the Oh, okay. You have a drive and you finish the shaking your hand. Yeah. So that shimmer is not necessarily about alignment no, that's, or that's cambering. It could really wheel. be about the tire, yeah. if the wheel. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I want to thank you for your, your, your time. Yeah, I know when you're in business, things are very busy. Yeah. But I want you to give a final word to people about racetrack and encourage them to come and support racetrack when they are purchasing tires. So sometimes when I get a tire cheap from someone because it's close to the expiry date and you may not recognize. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Now, I heard there are different types of tires, like there is German made tires, and what are the other types of yeah, tires? Yeah, the tire industry has a wide, wide variety of things. Mm -hmm. um, there are plenty of Chinese tires on the market. Chinese. With our, yeah, with our tires, before we put it to the market, Ceylon is the main brand of tire we really promote. Ceylon? Ceylon. Oh, okay. Right? Why um, Ceylon? When we check the reviews on the field, we still have the only high-end tires there. Oh, and wow. And you get uh, more value for your money. It's more cheaper value. And you, get, 
Yeah, the same I do so. Now it might be the best style on the market there as I as that I need to tell you different types of tires, so different tires. types of purposes. Right, and the prices would be. And the prices would be. Okay, so you have to also cater for your customer. That's right. And what pocket. your customers pocket. That's right. But I see that you all do provide a variety. Mm -hmm. So it's like you are catering not just for the yeah, persons right. who that's have right. a low budget, but you are catering for your premium customer. That's right. That's right. right. So your premium customer that drives what kind of car? <laughs> is, it a, is it a Mitsubishi wagon? That is right. We get all types of vehicles. I mean, most people, they recognize us for our oh. line of service. Okay. Um, that is one of the main attractions here. We have right. our places always clean. Clean, yes, um, yes. Boys are it looks helpful. very clean, actually. We are very clean. Very clean, very clean. Very clean. Showroom yes, and the showroom is immaculate. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. We have a nice. one-stop shop here where you can also get the alignment done also. Oh, alignment. Right, okay. that's to make sure that when you leave here, your tires cut up in right. properly. Right. Well, I see that the um, your, the guy, he balanced the tires. Why? Why? I thought if a tire come new, you don't have to balance. Why no, you have to no, balance no. a tire? You have to balance it because mm -hmm. our tire is me and you have to move it. They have a dot on the tire. Sorry. All right, that that helps with the balance of the tire. This one, yeah. mm -hmm. you cannot see the dot, but nevertheless, that, that's right. for the shimmer you get when you hold it. Oh, okay. yeah, but driving you can shake and shaking your hand. Yeah. So that shimmer is not necessarily about alignment no, that's, or that's cumbering. It could really be about the tire, yeah. if you will. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I want to thank you for your your, your time. Yeah, I know no, when I you're don't. in business, things are very busy. Yeah. But I want you to give a final word to people about racetrack and encourage them to come and support racetrack when they are purchasing tires. We try to provide a more service mm -hmm. and we are affordable. Right. And we got a wide variety. Yes. A wide, wide selection. Yes. We got a wheel for any vehicle, yes. most vehicles. We even have wheels that we can drill for those that not get do not get wheels for more oh. or less. Okay, okay. All right. Alright, so thank you so much. I want to say Welcome. congratulations on um, good, good customer service. Thank you. And uh, I hope I will be able to come back with reviews thank about you. my purchase because I'm excited about my vehicle. My vehicle is going to be called Mercedes. Uh, nice. Right? She was Betsy before, right. but gone are the days for yeah. Betsy the old car. So we are trying to make things brand new. Right. Alright, so thank you for giving me new tires and new rims at a good price and I'll come back and let's see where this will go from here. Alright, congrats on the racetrack. And the I was simply blown away at the merch, the uniformity. All the guys wearing these lovely, well Okay. Designed uh, racetrack jerseys, you know, Uniforms. amazing design. Start selling merch. <laughs> yes, I am all my to work. What are here with a jersey? <laughs> but thank you, sir. What's your name again? Run, you did see it. Okay, all right. good. All right, all the best, Ronnie. All the best. Thank you. thank you so much. All the best with management all over racetrack throughout the whole of Trinidad and Tobago. Greetings from Tobago. <laughs> so I would All love right. to big up the management team at Racetrack Wheels for providing amazing service throughout Trinidad and Tobago. All right. I would love that the entire staff at Racetrack Wheels subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay connected for more amazing videos. Subscribe to the channel, turn your bell on all, make sure that bell is black and for sure drop a sweet comment and hashtag racetrack wheels. Please, hashtag racetrack wheels. I want everybody to spam the comment section. When you go to racetrack wheels to get your wheels or tires, or your steering glove or any other car accessories you tell them that yours truly DKC sent you and it will be much appreciated and, I love that they are and welcome to the Caribbean 
where you would always find beautiful flowering plants. Here so are two let examples. Me show you some of these flowers. The Zonvillea and the Hibiscus. They are totally gorgeous and they are thoroughly enjoying the warmth of the Tobago sun. It's gorgeous. They come in a variety of colors and this one is a Hibiscus but the purple one is the Bergenvillea. It is so gorgeous and it can tolerate extreme hot weathers and they bloom the most beautiful when it's the most hot you know they bloom so radiantly in all its colors so enjoy these two flowers the bougainvillea and the hibiscus the hibiscus are those red ones and they are beautiful they come in a variety of colors but they grow beautifully in tobago <laughs> Hi, hi, Biscus. Know that you are loved. Keep blooming beautifully. And I know you survived the mealybug epidemic or the mealybug. That was a situation years ago. But these plants have been resilient to survive such an attack. Greetings from Trinidad and Tobago. Peace.